The Arctic is warming twice as fast as the rest of the world. So Greenland is on the front line when it comes to observing climate change. Thirteen years ago we travelled here to Disco Bay, home to the tallest icebergs in the world. Now we have returned to find out what's happened to this incredible landscape. The first impression is still one of wonder. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is home to the Jakobshavn Glacier. As it melts, it releases more fresh water into the sea, more than any other glacier in the Northern Hemisphere. The first thing we noticed was how the town of Alulisat, Greenlandic for many icebergs, has experienced a tourist boom. The attraction is clear, but the underlying reason was unnerving. They want to, uh, to see the ice before it's melting, so it, it has, it's a big issue. Back in 2006, it was already clear that dramatic change had happened within people's lifetimes. Old people always talked about when they were kids, they were much bigger and more, more dangerous. Dangerous in this way that they are ready to break off or break in two. But now they are smaller and more smooth in the surface. Back then, most of the icebergs were pristine. But in 2019, a startling change as the glacier retreated further inland. Iceberg after iceberg was now covered in dirt. All around Disco Bay, we saw icebergs studded in grit, stones and sand. We see more dirty icebergs because they are touching the ground in the mountains, the dirt. And that's why we see a lot of dirty icebergs. We know our weather system is chaotic rather than linear. And glacial retreat isn't straightforward either. Sometimes Jakobhaun retreats rapidly by as much as 17 kilometres in a single year. Sometimes it stalls for a decade or more. But the trajectory over the century and a half is clear. In the past three years, Jakobshavn has not just stalled but even gained some mass. However, scientists can explain this and it's not good news. Ten years ago, the glacier was influenced a lot more by the warming water in the fjord than it is today. Uh, and now the, the water is not uh, interacting with the glacier as much as it was before. And that's why uh, it can build up uh, more uh, ice. The rate of melting of these icebergs and the glacier will vary. However, the overall trend is absolutely clear. So too are the consequences. We know that Jakobshavn is already contributing to the rise in global sea levels. We know that climate change is triggering more frequent storm surges. Increased flooding is inevitable. What begins here, in an isolated Arctic wilderness, a place that seems like a world away, is closer to home than we think. Paul Cunningham, RT News, Greenland. And all this week, RT on Climate will be focusing on the issue of climate change with programmes across the schedule on television, radio and output online, examining what many people see as the challenge for our generation.